Hi, this is Alan Gilbert, Technical Specialist with Autodesk, and we're continuing our video series with regards to using the Super Elevation view to make customization and edits to your Super Elevation. So we've displayed our view in the previous video, and the way we're going to approach this in this video, we're going to really hit the major stations, the critical station changes. In the next set of videos, we'll work on the cross slopes and some other minor tweaks that we have to do to finish this up. So just a reminder here, our red line is our left pavement, edge of pavement. Blue line is right edge of pavement. This blue center line is zero cross slope. Our other two control lines are our shoulders. Magenta is our left shoulder. Cyan is our blue outside shoulder. So if we look at the diagram here, we can see that this is really this first station here, which is 426, this is or 425.88, this is where the job starts. And this is really where the run out starts. That's not just traditional because our left edge of payment is already at a little higher. It's a, actually it shows 1%. So if we go and look at the report, you can see on the left that all the way back at station one, that's when it's at normal crown. And it's still considered normal crown because that's such a long transition. And so this is really where the run out starts, but in the next video, we'll adjust that cross slope to take it into account. But we're not worried about it now. We just want to get the major stations for the major transition points and full super is correct. And then, like I said, we'll come back and worry about the cross slopes. So 425.88, that report, I'm going to use the plans here because that's at 88. So to do that, I'm going to select the diagram. We'll go up here. You can see that station is not exactly right which we didn't expect it to be type in 425.88 again it's going to move our cross slopes around we're not going to worry about it now you can see this vertex here should be the uh, where the we're outside flat on the left side or the end of the run out and we have that station if we look at that that's going to be station 456.19 which is here and we're verifying the report that is correct so let's go now to this one and change it to 456.19 there we go and I forgot to mention if you're not seeing the little dynamics it's because your dynamic inputs not on I like to turn that on to key these in so you can key them on right on the cursor okay next station should be where we're in reverse crown or our uh, left side is already flipped to match a flat cross slope so if we look at the report that is going to be reverse crown is 516.81 you can see that's here so that that's correct so we'll change this one now 516.81 okay we're not worried about these kinks in the slope that's okay so that's our major next major critical st station and we go from of course reverse crown up to full super and the full super starts at 644.11 let's go correct that there's full super 644.11 okay for this first curve full super is going to end at 1061 you can see here it's 1061.08 Let's correct that. 1061.08. Okay, good. We're not worried about these slopes yet. Full super for the next curve is going to be at 1391.50. Check the diagram. 1391.50, that is correct. So we'll change that. 1391.50. Five zero. Okay, so the profile actually stops around 1450. So as far as stations, I'm not really worried about what happens out here. Now, when we do the cross slopes, we've got to correct this full super because we're going to go up to it, you know, before our profile ends right in this area. But as far as stations, uh, before and after the beginning of the alignment, uh, we or the profile, it looks like we're in good shape. So stay tuned for the next video where we'll get into correcting cross slopes.